to be honest with you, this is not the first time I've tried making this video for you guys. <laughs> the months just kind of kept passing by and I kept feeling inadequate. But alas, I'm finally putting on my big girl pants and, you know, sliding in with a, hi, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Hello, beautiful humans. Uh, my name is Jordan and I've been feeling a tug to make a YouTube video on this channel for a while, uh, but it wasn't until uh, the last few people who've commented and subscribed um, like on my past videos that I really was just like, okay, just do it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be great. Just you want to, so do the thing. Thank you for the outreach and thank you for, I don't know, not forgetting about me. It's kind of it's kind of cool and I appreciate you. Anyways, it's been a while and um, I've been doing everything <laughs> under the sun except for reading. I've even been writing my own reverse harem urban fantasy book and I, I am super excited to tell you guys about that in the future. Uh, we're still in the very early drafting stages, but it's it's been really fun. <laughs> to say the least. And while being busy with work and my athletic goals and the implosion of my personal relationships has been a contributor to my absence, uh, the biggest thing is that I just have been in a huge reading slump and I just haven't felt like reading. I mean, that's kind of not completely true. I, I've been reading some like nonfiction memoirs and health sciences books, but like this channel is all about reverse harem. Okay, this is, this is where we come to get brain candy and to just enjoy some spicy books. I've, I've been absent, but, but I'm back and I'm here and I'm excited to talk to you about the one book that kind of broke me of my slump. And comedically enough, it was Book Talk that did that for me. Found a few books on Book Talk, surprisingly enough, uh, because oftentimes the books on Book Talk are juvenile. That's a good word. That's a big They're word for him, now. Which again is really not saying much for the book I'm about to talk to you about. Before we get into my thoughts about this book, um, let me let me give you a little synopsis. Other people dream of being special. They wouldn't if they knew what a nightmare it is. Erwin would give anything to be ordinary and rid herself of the power that lives inside her. Dangerous and alluring, it's caused nothing but pain and horror. After years of barely containing it, Erwin thought she had control, until the night it bursts free and pulses like a beacon. When the monsters stalking her endanger not only her power but her life, she'll have to make a decision. Take a risk and let these dangerous men in, or do what she's always done, walk away and try to survive on her own. So I gave this book a three-star rating, <laughs> which I don't really know what that means though, because the book didn't leave my mind for weeks after I got done reading it. And I was legitimately pissed that the second book doesn't come out till March 1st. Is the storyline cliche? Absolutely. Is there some toxic monogamy stuff in there uh, that's kind of gross? Uh, correct. Do I still want to know what happens and will be reading the second book? You bet your sweet booty I will be. The main character, Erwin, is pretty cool. I'm, I'm intrigued by her. I want to know what's up with her, what's with her weird idiosyncrasies, um, is she magic, why is she crafting these super badass weapons, what's going on with you, dude, what's going on with you, and also, like, why are people drawn to you with this magnetism to where, like, they become so obsessed with you, they go crazy and like wanna harm you. And then the three main dudes come into the picture and they just tick all of my boxes for awesome reverse harem dudes, okay? You've got the sexy, mysterious, tatted, badass thing going on. One of them is like kind of funny, but also borderlines mentally unstable. You've got one who's the brooding, uh, you know, leader, distrustful type. And then you've got the nice, approachable, instant connection one. All super awesome dudes. I love all of these characters. I'm game. We are locked and loaded for an awesome story. What happens next? Boom. Insta love. God dang that instant love. Okay. And I, I, I get it. This happens in magic books. 
because magic creatures and fate and like mating and I it's fine I understand I understand why we do the thing I just think that it kind of taints the story a little bit is that just me just me I don't know so I was a little bit off put by that uh, but still intrigued and still interested and curious about what's happened, especially for how awesome some of these spicy scenes are. I am someone who is very turned on when I know my partner is very turned on and getting to read uh, this scene in particular with that like point of view was just, I, pfft, just, just good stuff. Good frickin' stuff. So maybe a sliding scale of like three to four stars is appropriate for this book as long as you go into it with like the right expectations. Because no, is this a polyamorous person approved story? Negative. Uh, does that mean it doesn't still hold residence in my brain rent free? <laughs> it does. It, it, it still does. The other two books that TikTok recommended to me were kind of DNFs. I, it's not necessarily that they're bad books. I just, I think I'm really in a fantasy mood. I think that's just where I'm finding, you know, my, my intrigue at the moment. It's like a safe space. <laughs> it's my brain's happy safe space to be in a fantasy reverse harem book. But anyways, the other two books were Lola's Millionaires, uh, which is, which was, attempting to be my second foray into the Omegaverse genre. I was trying to give it a second chance, but I just wasn't feeling that story. Uh, and then also da Sugar, da Sugar Daddies, Sugar Daddies, which is about this uh, girl who's hired as a sex worker for these this two bisexual male couple who's hiding a secret. They're hiding some sort of secret. I didn't get far enough in to really learn more than that uh and but the sexy scenes are pretty fun and the the i'm intrigued by the characters because i'm like well what secret are you hiding because this is a contemporary book so like I'm, I'm confused so there is a little bit of intrigue there i just don't think i'm in a contemporary mood but um yeah how are you how, what have you been reading do you have any reverse harem fantasies to recommend me uh it, I guess expect me to make videos about those for a while. I'm trying to just find a place where I can create for the sake of creating, like for the enjoyment of creating, and like remove myself from this desire to like make it as a content creator because it's just not in the cards for me. And I don't want to make content 60 hours a week every week. I just don't want to do that. So. If you are interested in knowing more about me, like outside of this reverse harem, like book recommend, big book reviewer self of my of mine. If you want to know me outside of this persona, then uh, please check out the other YouTube channel that I started, where I'm kind of starting with a clean slate of just talking about my thoughts. Uh, and my life and it's been really cathartic and really fun to do i also have a reverse harem video that i've been sitting on since the summer you guys and i just kind of completely forgot about it so i'll be uploading that as well um just keep in mind that the timeline's off and it's gonna be a little weird but i hope that you find some uh, enjoyment some recommendations in that and I I'm, I'm back with more books, baby. I think I'm in a better headspace than I've been in a long time. So I, I hope that you'll stick around. And the fact that you've stuck around for this long is, is just mind blowing to me. So I just really appreciate you. And I am excited to be happy about reading again and be reading books and creating. I am working on a crochet project for my Rachel. I crocheted her address uh, this past year and it just, it was my first really like huge crochet project and I, instead of being careful and planning and, and doing what I should have done, I just kind of ran with it. So it's not good. <laughs> so I'm doing it again and it's going to be this granny square uh, tube top dress 
and I'm really excited to see how it turns out. I also made these, I'm currently working on making these little uh, crochet succulents. <laughs> this one's gonna be a set of three. I have this one, I have like a little tiny succulent, and then the other one is gonna be like a little barrel cactus, and those are gonna be really freaking cute. Crocheted my sister a rainbow pillow, which was also very fun to make. So I'm, 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 I'm being creative and I'm doing things. It's just, I haven't been doing this creative thing. So books, more books, more fun things. Uh, leave me any comments down below. Let me know how you are, what you're doing, what books you're reading and books that I should read in the fantasy reverse harem realm. And if you are interested in hearing about um, anything else, Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.